Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I customized this frontal, how I achieved the perfect hairline. These are the products that I used. I used the Clear All Collider Colors Tonal Powder, 40 Volume Developer, and of course the Shimmer and Lights Shampoo. So I used one and a half cups of tonal powder, one and a half cups of developer. This is the consistency that I achieved. You definitely want it to be a little on the thicker side. The best way to describe the consistency would be like peanut butter. So I'm just showing you exactly what the consistency is and what I'm working with. And I'm just going to take the mix and I'm going to start applying it to the front. So well, this is the consistency that you're looking for. Not too thick, not too thin, because of course if it's too thin and runny, it will seep onto your hair and you'll end up with blonde hair. So basically what I'm showing you here is that I'm just applying the mixture to the frontal. You definitely want to use a light hand when you're doing this. I did not speed this up because I definitely want you guys to see exactly how tedious the process is and so you'll know exactly what to expect. Me personally, I like to go along the hairline um, first in the front because that's, of course, what people will see the most. Um, you definitely want to get that processing. So I chose to go ahead across the hairline first. And I'm so sorry for this angle. But yep, this is basically what I'm doing here. And you want to use a light hand. Um, my, me personally, if you have the right consistency for your mix, um, you'll be good. Um, of course, you know, you always want to be careful, but again, you know, if you use the right consistency, if you get that consistency just right, you have a little bit more wiggle room, if that makes sense. So as you can see, I'm just working as quickly as I can, um, just going across the front of the hairline, and then I went ahead and applied the mixture to the rest of the frontal. So I'll let you guys go ahead and watch this part, and I'm just gonna stop talking. Okay, so now here, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit for you guys, just so you don't have to sit through the whole process, but you pretty much get the gist of how to apply the mixture to the frontal. Once the mixture is applied to the front, so I just placed it face down on the aluminum foil and I let it process for 30 minutes. So here I'm showing you guys that after the 30 minutes, I'm just rinsing 
all of the mixture off of the frontal. I just did it with warm water and you guys definitely use gloves. Um, I've done this a few times so yeah just <laughs> to be on the safe side use gloves but I'm just rinsing the bleaching powder off of the frontal with warm water. So once you got most of the uh, bleaching powder off, you just go ahead with the neutralizing shampoo. I just do that just to be on the safe side. Usually once the water has hit the front so the process then will stop. But again, I always just go ahead with the neutralizing shampoo just to be on the safe side. And I give it, give it a good lather and I go ahead and rinse it. And then after that, I'm just showing you that I go ahead and the most important part is to go on with the Shimmer and Lights Purple Base Shampoo. That also helps to further combat any type of brassiness. So the combination of using the Kaleida Colors bleaching powder with the toner in the mixture, that helps to combat brassiness as well as the Shimmer and Lights Shampoo that also helps to combat brassiness. So that is the way that I'm able to avoid brassy knots. No one wants any type of brassy knots. So after I put the Shimmer and Light Shampoo, I just let the shampoo sit for about maybe 10 minutes or so, or sometimes I just let it sit and I forget about it and I come back to it. But I, I definitely let the shampoo sit, let it really work, let it really, um, lather it up really good let it get into the hair so it really can work on you know combating any type of brassiness so again you can let it sit for maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever your preference is and then i just go ahead and give that a good rinse so here i'm just showing you guys my results and this hairline is fire it is totally, totally, totally realistic. The, the knots are bleached. Now, I did not pluck the hairline just yet. This frontal came so natural. The only thing I had to do was just to bleach the knot. Um, I will customize it as in pluck it just a little bit. And I do mean a very little bit. <laughs> This hairline is very, very, very natural. I will leave the links below where you can purchase this frontal. And that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, leave me some comments below. Like this video. Be sure to share and be sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.